Hey there, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to our channel. Thank you all so much for the love and support that you've given us. You've helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. Now, let's continue. A highly sensitive person is someone who displays increased emotional sensitivity. They have stronger reactivity to internal and external stimuli and a complex inner life. Walking through life this way can be overwhelming and challenging at times. Through trial and error, you can make some routine changes that help you take control over your symptoms. Of course, every HSP is different, so what works for you may not work for everyone. But don't give up. Here are seven things highly sensitive people need to be happy. One, a space of your own. What brings you comfort? For highly sensitive people, having a safe space that's all your own can be a lifesaver. It feels comforting to have control over a certain space, like a bedroom, office, or house. This place can be your refuge when the rest of the world feels chaotic and overwhelming. Fill your space with things that bring you comfort or relief, such as blankets, stuffed animals, or house plants. If you're sensitive to light, having a light switch dimmer can also be helpful. The important thing is to create a space that makes you feel good so that you will always know you have somewhere where you can let your guard down and relax comfortably. Two, personal boundaries. Having healthy personal boundaries can bring benefits to many areas of your life as an HSP. In relationships, it might be difficult for you to separate your emotions from the emotions of others. And this can be why you often have a hard time saying no or prioritizing your needs before theirs. If you have boundaries set in place, it gives you the chance to focus on your own needs and lets you properly rest and recharge before the next stimulating event. Three, a good night's sleep. Any healthcare professional will be quick to tell you how important it is to get a good night's rest, but sleep can be an obstacle for highly sensitive people. According to research psychologist and author Elaine Aaron, high levels of the stress hormone cortisol are correlated with a poor night's rest. Vice versa, a lack of restful sleep increases the levels of cortisol in the body, so the cycle can be hard to break. So what do you usually do to stay comfy throughout the night? For me, using white noise machines, eye masks, and weighted blankets help me stay comfy throughout the night. Four, the freedom to express emotions. As an HSP, you probably find great value in relationships where you don't feel like you have to hide your feelings. You feel close to these people, because you're able to open up and have deep, stimulating conversations. Aaron notes, the key to a successful relationship for an HSP is communicating what they want out of a relationship and finding a partner that understands their emotions are part of their nature. This type of communication will look different for everyone. So remember to be considerate and patient if you're still getting to know someone. Number five, a mental tool belt of coping skills. There is no one size fits all solution for when you get overstimulated. I personally find breathing exercises or coloring to calm down and stay present. Sometimes it can be good for you to put on your headphones and retreat into a book, or other times you might need to do some grounding exercises instead. Having a variety of skills at the ready can make you feel more confident that you can handle any situation, even if you do get overwhelmed. Number six, patience when making a decision. HSPs have a hard time making decisions. Even small choices like what to have for dinner can leave you frozen in place. Dr. Aaron attributes this quality to an increased depth of processing, a strength that is common for HSPs. She says, we notice even quite subtle aspects of our world and a vast array of the possible consequences of a choice. All of this goes into our consideration of what may be going to happen and what we should do. Erin suggests making a pros and cons list and thinking through decisions, but also cautions against taking others' advice. And number seven, a healthy outlet. Highly sensitive people take in a lot, so having a healthy outlet is a good way to cope with all of your emotions. Physical activities like dancing can release physical tension and help you express your feelings through movement. Journaling is another way to recognize and work through your feelings. Or maybe something more mindless like coloring can help you focus on something that is both calming and in your control. Are you an HSP? Do you have any tips to share in the comments on living a more happy life? 
please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it can help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.